What else? Sucking the helium out of them and making your voice sound funny. <laughs> Any other thoughts? You ever do this? What? Let the air out. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, let it go when it flies around. You ever do the, the thing where you, uh, you get the static electricity in? I mean, when, when balloons are full, they're pretty cool. Okay, so this is one of the things you guys mentioned that's pretty fun about them. Okay. Now, how about, though, how about when it's empty? Is it pretty cool? Pretty dynamic? Can you do much with it? Yeah, you see, um, we're kind of like balloons because we've got this emotional tank. And when it's full, we're pretty dynamic. And uh, we have a very good chance of reaching our full potential when our emotional tanks are full. Just like a balloon, this empty balloon is the perfect picture of unfulfilled potential. So, this emotional tank, besides being like a balloon, it's like a gas tank in your car. When it's empty, can't go very far, can't expect to get much done. When it's full, when our emotional tanks are full, we can expect to go a long, long way. Things, well, for a little, little more about it, about the emotional tank. Uh, athletes, when their emotional tanks are empty, they tend to be pessimistic. They tend to give up easily, and they're not very, very teachable. On the flip side, when athletes have full emotional tanks, they tend to be optimistic in the exact same situation. They tend to look at it optimistically. They deal, with, they deal better with adversity, and they are much more coachable. So what types of things drain tanks? What types of things fill tanks? Criticism, sarcasm, ignoring, nonverbal stuff can drain a tank. Praise, as long as it's truthful and specific, is a powerful tank filler. Expressing appreciation for good things that athletes do. Listening. And nonverbal stuff like smiles and fist bumps tend to fill tanks. Now, I don't want you to misunderstand. Positive Coaching Alliance isn't saying that you're never going to critique your players. Critique and correction is part of responsible teaching and coaching. There is a place for it. But we want you to be aware that it's not the only way to give coaching feedback. That there's another way to give powerful, useful coaching feedback. And we also want you to be aware that when you do critique your players and correct them, that it tends to drain their tank. You want to remember to come back and refill that emotional tank. So if, if we're in agreement, let, let's, let's check here. Um, does anybody disagree with the idea that you're going to do some critiquing of your players? And raise your hand if you disagree with that. Okay? Raise your hand if you disagree that you're going to do some praising and expressing appreciation, listening. Okay, so we're all in agreement. So if we are, since we are in agreement, what's the balance between the two? How much of this, how much of that produces the best results, produces the, the, the most dynamic environment for, for athletes? In other words, what's the magic ratio? I bet you can remember this one. What is it? Seven to one. Seven to one. Some of you remembered it. Seven to one's a good guess. Uh, five, five to one. Five to one. And we did not. We did not pull this out of thin air. There is research that backs this up. The two lead studies on this were very different studies done by different researchers, different parts of the country. One studied elementary school children in the classroom environment, the interactions between teacher and student, and how the ratio determined uh, whether the environment was a, a healthy one or, uh, or not a healthy one. And then the other study was on married couples and the ratio of positive interactions to criticisms and how it was a predictor for long-term success of marriages. And both of those studies said that the, 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 that the five to one was the magic ratio. When you hit that ratio, that's when you really saw cool things happen. Interestingly, in the study of married couples, they, they said that five to one or greater is the ratio, that there was no ceiling 
for married couples. With teachers and kids, they said that 5 to 1 is ideal, and that 5 to 1 actually is better than 10 to 1 or 25 to 1. Why would that be the case? Why would 5 to 1 be better than 10 to 1 in a teaching situation? Because you want to help them reach their potential. You pay the team. Exactly. But what, what those researchers are saying and what their research showed is that it can be overdone actually in coaching and teaching. That you can't it can't all be this. I mean five to one is gonna be a, it's gonna be heavily balanced on that side, but there is gonna be the the, the the critiquing and correcting. That is part of it. Okay, so now let's uh, let's look at uh, the toolkit for the e-tank. And I'm going to give you a scenario here. The tools you're going to be looking at this time are pages 34 through 41. You're going to just you're going to skim those quickly. You'll come back later. I know you will. Come back later and read them on your own. And here's the scenario. Practices have been really tough lately. Athletes are indifferent to the drills that could make them better. They act out, always talking when you were trying to do an explanation, gossiping instead of listening. <coughs> several of the girls, one of the chose girls, in it, and several of the girls have been picking on one of the weaker players. That girl's e tank couldn't be any more drained. What can a double goal coach do about these issues? And what we're going to do with this here is you can, you're can you going to talk with a partner. Again, same partner, different partner. That's up to you. And if you have ideas outside of the toolkit on how you would address this, go ahead and bring those to the conversation this time. But you can also refer to the toolkit for ideas on how to handle this situation. So I want to know what you would do in this situation. And if you choose a tool, be prepared to tell me why you chose that tool from the toolkit. Questions for me? You may begin. <laughs> 